Hey guys, what's up? And welcome back to my channel. See this elephant in the room? Oh, I'm so excited. So, I don't know when this video is gonna go up, but this is my first official attempt at filming in my new space. So if the lighting's off, I, I'm working on it. Y'all just give me a chance. But I've been in the new house for almost a month and I haven't filmed. I've been showing you guys content that I recorded before I left. So I feel like it's time. Today, I'm actually going to the gym in a couple hours, but I just wanted to see how this was gonna come out. Hopefully everything looks good. I'm using natural light and my light. So y'all comment below, let me know what you think. Um, if I can film during the day, I'm gonna use natural light because I have big, huge windows in here. Don't worry, I am gonna show you a tour. I'm almost done setting it up, but we're not there yet. So I just wanted to come in, sit down, talk to you guys, and share the end of my Sephora VIB sale haul because I didn't get to show you guys that stuff. I told you I was waiting for stuff to come in. It came in, but I packed it up because I had to be out of the other house. So I'm not gonna keep you guys waiting any longer. If you wanna see what I got in my Sephora VIB sale, stay tuned. But don't forget to subscribe. You're here, you've been enjoying the content, I hope. I've gotten a lot of good feedback. So if you're new, join the family and let's get into it. All right, this haul is not gonna be long. Like I said, I was just waiting on a few things to come in. So this isn't gonna be <laughs> like my other videos. And yeah, most of this stuff is from Sephora haul. But I have a couple other things too. Y'all know me, y'all know I'm celebrating, I'm happy. So we buy stuff, that's what we do. So we're gonna start off with the Sephora stuff. The first thing I have, I picked up the Gucci Serum Primer. This is the Silk Priming Serum. This is the box that it comes in. Excuse my nails. Like I told y'all, I'm about to go to the gym, so we were not doing our nails for that. But I did pick up the foundation. I showed you guys that. I got the shade 380N. So I just decided to go ahead and get the Serum Primer too, because why not? So I have not even tried this yet. I haven't tried any of this stuff. That's another reason why I wanted to film this because I wait until I show you guys most of the time, like 95% of the time before I try it. So I've been dying to try this out and now I can. The next thing I picked up, I picked up a backup of my Kevin O'Quinn The Etherealist Skin Illuminating Foundation. I bought this, it was on sale plus the 20% off, but the first time I bought it, I think I got it for like $20. And I tried it and I freaking love it. So when I saw it was on sale plus the discount, I grabbed a backup. I picked up the shade Deep EF14. I'm not gonna open this because I already have one open and I love this, I love the packaging and this is absolutely gorgeous on my skin. So yeah. Picked it up while I could because I think this foundation is normally $58. The next thing I picked up, this is actually for Janet's office. This is the Veluspa Tahitian Coconut Vanilla Home Diffuser. So I don't know if you guys know if you saw, I don't think I've done a haul for like, I buy a lot of Bath & Body Works candles, the wallflowers i'm very into stuff smelling good the house smelling good and so i know that she loves coconut she loves you know kind of softer cleaner smells and i went into sephora and i smelled this and i thought it smelled really good and it would be perfect for her office so i picked this up during the sale and we've been i've been here for a month she's been here three weeks now and I still haven't let, <laughs> I still haven't let her open this because y'all gotta see it first so now she can have her gift I also picked up some Olaplex products I picked up a backup of the number six bond smoother leave-in repairing styling cream I do have like two or three of these already but they're $30 $28 for this little bee bottle so since it's a Sephora sale 20% off I went ahead and grabbed a backup 
And then I decided I wanted to try their bonding oil. I do love using hair oils and I hadn't tried this one before. I think the latest one that I picked up most expensive wise would be the Briogeo um, Don't Despair Repair Hair Oil. So I wanted to kind of compare them. I like the smell of that one. I don't know what this one smells like, but it does say it has heat protection in it too, which I'm not sure the Briogeo has. So I'll have to check into that, but love hair oils, love this brand. So I'll show you what it looks like real quick. This is small. I mean, thankfully you don't need to use a lot when you use a hair oil, but this is a tiny little bottle. So definitely needed to get that on sale. I also picked up this Sephora Rouge Gel Lip Liner in the shade, I believe, yeah, Molasses. This is just a brown lip pencil. This is the Sephora brand. And I decided to pick this up because I've been trying a bunch of other brands. I do like some of their other ones. I can't think of the name. Oh, it's on the tip of my tongue. I'll put it, Rosewood, I think is one of the colors. I'll list them in the description, but I do like the formula. I hate the way these smell. I don't know what it is, but I feel like every one of them I have tried, they all stink really bad, but they work well. So keep that in mind if you ever decide to pick these up. They smell like they're bad. I don't know what the deal is. And I smelled it in the store. It's the same thing, but it's a good product. The last thing I picked up in my Sephora haul, I was pretty excited about this. This is the Maison Louis Marie, uh, which one is this? Wada Balancourt number four. I picked up the gift set. So as you can see here, it comes with the Eau de Parfum and then also the perfume oil and a candle. And I planned on burning this candle in my office just because this legitimately smells like Santel 33. Like, straight up dupe. I bought the rollerball travel size from Sephora and I loved it. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and get the big size. And I love that it came in this gift set. So now I can extend the smell a little longer. I don't think the smell lasts as long and it's not as strong, but the initial scent and as you wear it, it smells just like it. And the Centel 33 is like $200 for a bottle. So this whole set was $100. So that is it for the stuff I got from Sephora. I do wanna share a couple more things with you guys that have come in since I've been in the house. I decided to pick up some nail polishes and this is from the brand Live Love Polish. They had a um, buy two, get two, uh, buy, to buy two, get one free. I think so, buy two, get one free sale. And they have some of the most gorgeous nail polishes I have ever seen. So I got six because duh, but they're all like multi-chrome and I'm hoping that I can show you the dimension in them. But I picked up the shades, oh Lord, these names, here we go. So this is Red C. Oh, I hope I can show you these colors. This is what the bottle looks like. And then I don't know if you guys can see the shift, but it goes like green to pink. And I feel like the glare from the sun is probably messing this up. I don't know if you guys can see that. I hope you can, but yes, multi-chrome, love it. This next one is called Wisteria. This is a purple, silver, Maybe shifts to a little blue. It's mostly purple and silver though. So that's what this shade looks like. You can see a little bit of the blue in it. That's Wisteria. Then I also picked up Ultra Hot. This is one of those pink to gold to greens. It is so pretty. I don't have my monitor hooked up, so I can't see exactly how y'all are seeing this. I hope it is coming off, but yes, absolutely gorgeous. Then I picked up Molten. This is also more of a red, but it also goes kind of green gold. So that's what this one looks like. Oh, I hope you guys can see this is driving me nuts. 
I may try to insert some pictures if I can get some that actually show what it looks like really well. The next one I picked up is Focus. This one starts off as like almost like a blackish gray, but it has blue and purple in it. So that's it there. And then last but not least, this gorgeous, it's called Obelisk. Obelisk, O-B-E-L-I-S-K. Oh God, this looks like a peacock, like literally green. There's some blue, there's some purple. I hope you guys can see that because this is so pretty. This is one of my favorites. So yeah, picked up those. I've been eyeballing them, but they're like $15 a bottle. I think something like that. I'll put the price on the screen. I feel like they're kind of pricey and nail polish doesn't last long on me. So definitely need to get those at a discount. The next thing I picked up was kind of a random impulse buy because I went to Macy's to go return that Tom Ford lipstick that broke and I could not exchange it. They didn't have it in store. And if I would have ordered it again, it would have been full price, which was a no for me, dog. So we didn't do that. I just returned it and I was supposed to leave and go about my business. But I was walking out and there was a Joe Malone counter and they had a sale. I love Jo Malone. My favorites are the Peony and Blushed. Brushed? I always get this wrong. <laughs> I'll put it on the screen. The Peony and Suede one. I don't know the name of it. I do have a full size of that one. And then I also love the Wood Sage and Sea Salt. And I started hearing people talking about this one. And I didn't pick it up during the Sephora sale and then I saw it again and it was on sale. So I was like, you know, maybe that's a sign. I need to go ahead and get it. So this is the Scarlet Poppy and this is the Cologne Intense. So it is supposed to last a bit longer. Oh, it smells so good. I was trying not to love it. I really was. But the first time I smelled it, I was just like, I have to have it. I'm looking up the notes right now to tell you guys what it is. So this is the, which size is this? The 3.4 ounce. Y'all, you know you gotta buy this on sale. This retails for $195. Absolutely insane. It is a warm floral. I was gonna say that, but I wanted to have my facts right. It says the keynotes are Ambrette, Scarlet Poppy, and Tonka Bean. I feel like there's a lot of stuff with Tonka Bean in it that I like. This smells so good. So yes, had to pick that up and baby, bay for that price, had to get it on a sale. The next thing that I picked up at the counter, I bought myself a diffuser. This is the Silk Blossom Diffuser. Now this is not normally the typical smell that I would go for. It's not bad, don't get me wrong. I don't buy stinky stuff unless I buy it from Marshalls and couldn't smell it first. This one is a, I think they call it a, powdery floral, white pepper, silk blossom, and moss. It says that this is supposed to last three to four months. So I'm hoping that is the case because she was expensive, but this just smells, it smells really clean. I smell the floral. It kind of smells like roses a little bit, but not bad because I don't like super rosy stuff, but I just thought it would be a really good scent for my beauty room because it just smells expensive. I'm gonna have to show y'all a tour. I feel like this room has turned out so grand and so beautiful and I feel like, I wanna feel like I'm walking into like a boutique when I come in here. So that's why I got that one. I did also get some gifts with my purchase. I don't know what this is. This is the English Pear and Freesia Body Cream. I have no idea how that smells. It's a little tiny sample size, but listen, we love samples, so thank you. And then this is a sample size of the Nectarine Blossom and Honey Cologne. Ooh, that's different. 
I've noticed with these that I have to let them sit on my skin because there are a lot of high-end fragrance that I will spray them and then the initial smell, I'm like, ooh, uh-uh, that's bad. And then like a couple hours later, I'm like, what was that a spray? What, what did I spray? Because I don't remember and it smells good. I think I like this. I'm gonna let it sit and I'll keep y'all updated, but Lord, don't let me fall in love with another Jo Malone fragrance, please. The last thing, this is a, oh, these are two little small samples. So one is Wood Sage and Sea Salt and the other is Fig and Lotus Flower. I'm not gonna spray these right now, but these I put in my travel bag. And then last but not least, I decided to throw this in here because I don't wanna do, a, <laughs> I just don't wanna do a separate video on it, but I still wanted to show it to you guys. I decided to buy a trend mood box. Now I've looked at these before and I've seen how hard they are to get. And when I saw what was in this one for this month, I was like, oh yeah, you've been wanting to try one of those products anyway. So you might as well go ahead and grab the box because I think the one product I wanted to buy was how much the box cost. So I'll just show you real quick. If you haven't heard of this, Trend Mood is, she's an influencer. She has a page on Instagram. There is a Trend Mood page that tells you like sneak peeks of a bunch of stuff that's coming out. But she works with different brands and puts stuff together to make the box like, oh, this is a separate experience of its own to try different stuff. Um, one month they had a bunch of First Aid Beauty products. I've seen, she had an e.l.f. box at one point too, so the price changes on them. But this one, this was definitely a more high-end box, so that's why I wanted to pick it up. So the packaging on these is really cute. You get this little QR code at the top that you scan and it tells you what's in the box in the description. I've seen her packaging videos and they all come with this cute little sticker. Love that it's purple. Everything is packaged really well in bubble wrap. One thing I was super excited about, a lot of people bought this during the sale, but I waited and now I have it in this box. This is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Pink Dream Body Cream. This is a smoothing and moisturizing moisturizer. It's a watermelon seed butter. It says watermelon seed butter, hibiscus AHA, and hyaluronic acid. So smooth and moisturize your body with the same effective ingredients used in face treatments. And it is inspired from the cult favorite watermelon glow sleeping mask, which I do have and I use. I know that this is pretty expensive. So I was like, okay, happy to get this. The next thing in the box is this Biosance Squalene and BHA Pore Minimizing Toner. It says visibly tightens large pores. We all know that you can't make your pores smaller, but maybe you can tighten them. I don't know. Clarify and refine pores without stripping essential moisture. Lightly hydrating solution of exfoliating B, yeah, BHAs, beta hydroxy acids. From white willow bark, it manages oil and leaves your skin clean and fresh. So this is a pretty nice size. This is a four ounce bottle. I guess I could have opened the other one and let y'all see that too, but this is the packaging. So yeah, just your standard toner. And then, sorry I didn't show you guys earlier, but this is a nice size bottle. This is the Glow Recipe Moisturizer. And this is how many ounces? 18 fluid ounces. What? You lie. <laughs> this is eight fluid ounces, Barbara. Eight, not 18. The next two things in this box, okay. One of them I, I could have did without, but your girl loves eyeshadow, we know this. So I was like, eh, I guess I can put it to use. This is the Dominique Cosmetics. This was her now or never eyeshadow palette and i think this came out around valentine's day but you cannot get this anymore so we know that i love limited edition and i got this limited edition palette at a discount oh this almost broke oh we okay you gotta be careful with this so this is what the packaging looks like super cute and that's pretty much the same thing that's on the box. And then this is what the palette looks like. 
So those are the shades there. Pretty pinks. Like I said, it came out around Valentine's Day. This shade down here was actually cracked. So yeah, I just pressed it back into the pan, but that's kind of scary. Let's go ahead and swatch while we in here. So that is definitely a topper glitter shade that's called Empire. Then there's Self Made, which is a matte. Powerful B-I-T-C-H, which is a matte. Boss Babe, which is a matte, feels very dry. So these are the three at the bottom. Ooh, but that is very pigmented. Okay, dry. Those are the three bottom shades there. And then I will show you the top shades. So one of, there's two mattes and that glitter. This is really pretty, very powdery, pink. Definitely a highlight shade for me. Then self-made, could be a transition shade, but also kind of light. And then, oh, that's a pressed glitter. We don't do that on this channel. Mm-mm, no, we don't. I don't play with that, they scare me. This is really pretty. This is self-made in the middle, and then that is that pressed glitter. Sorry, that's the pressed glitter, obviously. That's like straight flake chunk glitter. I don't like that. I'm sure it could be gorgeous, but I just don't do glitter. <sighs> I might have to try it just to show you guys. Definitely need a glitter glue, something to hold that to your eye. I think it's just always scared me because I wear contacts. So yeah, but that's it for that palette. I definitely would not have bought this palette, but I am mad that I got it basically for free. And then last but not least, the reason I wanted this, the Tatcha Silk Powder. I've heard a lot of mixed reviews on this. Some people say it works really well, helps you look airbrushed, everything minimizes your pores, all that stuff. And then I've heard some people say it makes them look really dry and it accents their wrinkles, which we do not need. So I don't know, I wanted to try it and I was gonna buy it, but I didn't wanna spend, I think this is like $48, let me double check. All right, so yeah, this Tatcha powder is $48 by itself. I paid $48 for the box. So clearly this was worth it. So it says it's a radiant, translucent setting powder. I'm gonna go ahead and open this because I am just too curious. Packaging is a little different. Comes with this lid. And then there's this little rubber. Oh, I don't wanna break it. Is this a whole thing come out? I don't know how this works and I don't wanna break it. Okay, so you pull this little stopper off. But how do you get the power out though? Y'all know it's too fancy when you gotta read directions on how to use a powder. So you take this little white tab off, then you put the lid back on, and then tilt it over to get some of the powder out. Well, that didn't do much. It's yellow. I don't know if you guys can see that. Oh, yeah, that feels really dry. I doubt you'll be able to see it. Oh yeah, you can see that. That's the powder on my hand right there. So I'm curious to see how that is gonna look on my face. I definitely don't think you should bake with this, but yeah, that shows up a lot and very powdery. So we will see, I will definitely keep you posted. I'll use this in a video so you guys can see how it works. But yeah, like I said, the whole box was $48 and this cost $48. So to get all that other stuff, I definitely think it was worth it. All right guys, so that is it for this video. Wasn't a lot of stuff, but I've just been sitting on it waiting to share it with you guys before I opened it. So I don't know the order. <laughs> Y'all are gonna see these videos. Like I said, this is the first official one I'm filming in the new house, but it may not be the first one that goes up. I don't know yet. So Thank you guys for being patient. I hope you've enjoyed all the previous videos that I've uploaded, but I'm ready to get some new content to you. So if you haven't subscribed yet, do it now, click that button. Welcome to the family and I will see you in my next video. Bye.